Hi, I'm Laura, and we'll be doing a vinyasa and yin practice today. So come to a comfortable seat, and you might need a block for the yin practice. You can do without it if you have a, a block or something similar. You could use a stack of books or a folded up blanket or a pillow instead. You can go ahead and grab that and just put it off to the side. And if you want to sit on top of your block or your prop to make your hips a little bit more comfortable, you can just give yourself a bit more space. Take a moment to get grounded, sit up tall, let your eyes relax, close, and gently let the hands rest to the tops of the thighs. And take the first few moments just checking in with how you're feeling today. Notice if there are areas of tension or tightness or areas of the body that just need a little bit of extra care or attention. And notice the breath. Notice your natural pace of the breath, and we'll start to deepen the breath together. Empty out the breath wherever you are, exhaling completely. And together, take a full breath in through the nose, and side out through the mouth, let it go. And just adding movement to that breath on your inhale, circle your arms up, touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And as you exhale through the mouth, bring the hands down through the center line of the body, hands in front of the heart space. And one more inhale, circling the arms up, touching your palms overhead. Keep your palms pressed as you exhale, hands to the heart. And on your next round of breath, inhale, sweep the arms up, touch your palms overhead. Keep your lips sealed, and as you exhale through the nose, bring your hands back to the heart space. Take a moment to pause here. If you'd like to create an intention for your practice, you can take a moment to set one. Any positive thought for yourself or for anyone else who might need it. And gently start to open the eyes back up. And relax the hands gently to the tops of the thighs. And if you are seated on a prop, you can gently sit off of it. And we'll start to come into a tabletop position onto your hands and knees. Wrists underneath the shoulders with the fingers spreading wide and knees and feet about hip distance apart. Shift your shoulders forward beyond your wrists and start to circle your body over towards the right. Shift your hips back towards the heels and then over towards the left and make these big hip circles. Just getting openness and mobility into the joints. Feel that stretch into the outer hips. And the next time that you come towards the top of the circle with your body, start to switch in the opposite way. Big, slow, steady circles. And keep your breath smooth, traveling in and out of the body, ujjayi breath. And start to come back to neutral. Scoop both of your hands just a couple of inches forward of the shoulders, grounding into the palms. Tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. Relax your head and neck down. And then as you inhale, lift your heels up high and start to bend your knees. And just feel the spine lengthening pressing the chest, pressing the belly towards the thighs. Keep your head, neck, and head and neck relaxed between the arms. And then from here, keep your heels lifted, start to straighten the legs so you feel your hips up really high. And then start to release the heels down towards the earth. Back to this downward dog, hug your ribs in. And inhale, shift forward to plank position. Lower slow through chaturanga all the way down to the belly with control. Toes point back, hands by the lower ribs, rise to cobra to start. Toes pressed down, open through the chest. Exhale, release back down. Engage your core, tuck your toes. Press up to plank. You can use the strength of the knees to help you here. And lift the, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And we'll just smooth out that vinyasa with the breath. Inhale, gliding forward with the inhale. Lower down all the way to the belly with control. Toes point back. Hands by low ribs. Inhale, float the chest up. And exhale, gently release it back down. Tuck your toes, engage your core, press up to plank with or without the knees. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And one more together, inhale, gliding the shoulders forward. Exhale, slowly lower all the way to the belly. Again, you can use your knees if you'd like. Toes point back, rise to cobra or upward dog if you're ready for that, opening across the heart space. And tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. Inhale your right leg up and back, stack your hip open and bend your knee. And take a moment to open into the hip. And inhale, extend your right leg straight back, leveling the hips out and pulling all of your toes down. Knee to chest, knee to nose and round up through the spine. Pause here, hugging the knees towards the chest. 
press into the palms and shift your shoulders even slightly beyond the wrists. And using the strength of the core, lightly step your foot between your palms. Lower your left knee down gently, lift up through the arms, through the chest, through the fingertips. And as you exhale, open through the elbows wide and across the chest. Inhale, reach your arms back up. And then as you exhale, we're gonna straighten your right leg without touching your hands to the ground, lean your chest forward over the front thigh. Sweep your arms back alongside the body, finding balance. Keep your right foot flexed with the toes pulling back. And then again, re-bend into your right knee. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, open through the elbows, open through the heart. Inhale, reach your arms back up towards the sky. Exhale, heart forward as you sweep the heart forward, lean the chest forward and sweep the arms back. And just one more, bend into the knee. Sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, open through the elbows. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, heart forward, sweep the arms back as you hover over the front thigh. Stay low through the chest. And then re-bend into your front knee and plant your palms down. Tuck your back toes and lift your back leg up towards the sky, standing split, not too long, nothing too intense. Just feel a stretch and opening into the backs of the legs. Take one more inhale. Exhale, feet together at the top of our space. Rise up halfway. Exhale, deep fold back down, Uttanasana. Rise all the way to stand, sweep your arms up, touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Find your flow with the breath, inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, unfold it forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale, and step it back to plank or float it back, chaturanga. Lower slow, halfway or all the way down. Toes point back as you rise to your back bend. And then exhale and lift the hips all the way up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up and back and stack your hip open, bend your knee on this side. Steady breaths, pressing the earth away with your palms. And on your inhale, extend your left leg straight back, leveling through the hips. Round up through the spine as you bring your knee into the chest, knee to nose. And again, pause here. Stay with your breath, hug in through the core, and lightly step your foot between your palms. Lower your right knee down gently. Lift up through the arms, through the chest, back to low crescent anjaneyasana. And find, find a moment, find length, take one more inhale. Exhale, open through the elbows, widen across the chest. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, heart forward, sweep the arms back, straightening through the front leg. And again, with the breath, inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Open through the elbows, widen across the chest. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, heart forward, sweep your arms back as you fold your chest forward. And one more with the breath, sweeping the arms up. Open through the elbows. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, heart forward as you fold over the front leg. Keep your left toes active. Steady breaths. Good. Keep your chest low as you start to re-bend into your left knee and plant your palms down. Tuck your back toes under. Now lift your right leg up towards the sky as you step into a standing split at the top of our space, folding the chest in. Steady breaths in and out, waking up the backs of the legs. One more inhale, breath. Exhale, feet together at the top of our space. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. Rise all the way to stand. Sweep your arms up. Touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Surya A, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale and fold forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and step it back or float it back. Vinyasa, or straight back into your downward dog. And find your breath in your downward dog. Feel the grounded energy through the hands and feet, the extension of the spine, and a gentle hugging in of the core. And with your inhale, lift the heels high. Bend your knees, take your gaze between your palms, and then walk, step, or float your feet up to where you're looking between the palms. Rise up with a flat spine. Exhale, deep fold back down, and all the way to stand. Sweep your arms up, touch your palms overhead at the top. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Couple more rounds, inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale, step it back or float it back. Inhale, pressing the earth away. And then exhale to lift the hips all the way up and back, downward dog. And steady breaths here. Walk, step or float the feet back up to your hands, rise up halfway. 
Exhale, fold it back down all the way to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more round, sweeping the arms up. Fold forward with your exhale. Rise up halfway with an inhale. Exhale, step it back or float it back. Rise up to your back bend on an inhale back. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And take a full breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. Inhale your right leg up and back. And then lift the ball of your left foot and bend your left knee, keeping your right leg nice and straight and strong. And then start to bend and straighten your left leg. Look between your palms, shift your shoulders a bit more forward. And then start to practice a little hop with your left foot lifting up. Keep your right leg straight the whole time. And then start to hop your left foot closer to your hands. Bring your feet together, grounded to your forward fold. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold it back down. Chair pose. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms up. Sit back. Utkatasana. Touch your palms and bring your hands in front of the heart. And from here, press into the balls of the feet and lift your heels up high. Start to sit your hips down lower and let the knees open out towards the sides as you come into this spot. Reach your fingertips forward, shift your hips back and melt your head and neck down. So you can stay here, balancing onto your fingertips, reaching them forward. Some of you might have the flexibility to take your arms underneath your shins, reach back to grab the heels and then melt your chest in a little bit deeper. Maybe your forehead comes close to touching down towards the earth. And steady breaths. Breathing into the shape. And if you reach around for the heels, reach the fingertips back forward. And then start to lift up right through the chest. Squeeze your legs back together and straighten your legs out as you come into your forward fold. Rise up halfway. Exhale, step it back or float it back through your vinyasa or straight into your downward dog. And as we practice these vinyasas, just remember you can always skip them. You can always go straight into downward dog if you'd like. Left leg lifts up. Keep your left leg really straight and strong. Keep flexing through the foot. Feel the energy of the heel is drawing back. Lift up to the ball of the right foot. Keep your right heel lifted and bend your knee. And just practice bending and straightening your right knee a few times. And then from here, start to shift your gaze forward. Keep your right knee bent. Shift your shoulders forward a bit. And practice hops. Keep your left leg as straight as it was when you were just bending and straightening your right leg. And maybe you can get a little bit more air time. Take one more hop. Bring your right foot closer towards your hands. Step your feet together. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. Rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Take a full breath in, sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. And from standing here, lift the heels up again. Pressing into the balls of the feet, standing up nice and tall, keep the hands at the heart and start to bend your knees straight forward. And we're slowly gonna lower back into that squat. See if you can land just sitting your hips on top of the heels. You can always use blocks or props underneath the fingers here to help you balance if needed. You can always up, open up to Malasana to a wider squat if you need that support. From here, opening up the knees and your choice, stretching the hips back, fingertips forward. You can do that version you might have played with earlier, grabbing around the shins and back for the heels. If you have crow pose Bakasana in your practice, you can plot your palms down, take your hips up high, take the knees behind the triceps, Keep your elbows hugging in, in line with the shoulders, and feel the weight of your body shifting forward onto the palms towards the fingertips, and start to lift the heels up towards your bottom. Keep your core hugging in and your gaze forward. And steady breaths. You can step or float it back. You can also just make your way to a forward fold, walk, step, or hop your way back through a vinyasa or straight into downward dog. Take another full breath in and through the mouth, let it go. Inhale your right leg up and back, reaching back through the heel. Right knee to your right shoulder, tricep, shift your shoulders over your wrists. 
Inhale, extend your leg back. Then cross your knee over to the outside of the left arm. Inhale, extend it back. Knee to chest, knee to nose. Step your foot all the way through between your palms and spin your back heel down. We're gonna rise up to warrior one, facing forward. Hips will be pointing forward, chest is pointing forward. You might draw your right hip back a little bit and spin your left hip forward so you have both of the hip points pointing towards the front of your mat. Anchoring down through the outer edge of your back foot. Lifting through the sides of the waist, energy through the fingertips to maybe touch palms overhead. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down on the inside of your right foot. You're going to walk your hands, pivot your feet around towards the left side of the mat. Bend into your left knee, stand back to up towards your back. Inhale, coming up through center. Bend into your right knee. Inhale through center, and then pivot so all of your toes face towards the back of your mat. And then spin your right heel down. We're going to rise up to warrior two, chest opening towards the side wall. Floating your arms out to the seat. Your gaze is over your left fingertips, which are pointing towards the back of your mat. Flip your left palm to face up, reach it back to reverse warrior. Find this nice long stretch. And then exhale into your extended side angle. You can start with the forearm, the thigh or bring it down to the ground or to a block. Take your right arm, stretch it all the way alongside the ear. Staying lifted out of your joints, opening through the chest, maybe gazing up underneath your right arm. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And as you exhale, circle your hands down to your mat, plant your palms down. Lift your right heel up and take your left leg all the way up and back. Stack your hip open and bend your knee. You can stay here. Or you can shift forward to plank with your knee in this shape, your left leg still in the same shape. Then roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Drop the toes off the edge of the mat into wild thing. Into your back bend, flipping your dog. And if you went into this back bend shape, reach your left arm straight up to the sky. So think like a side plank position in the upper body. With control, come back to your three-legged downward dog, taking your left leg back up. And then just step your left foot down onto your mat, downward dog. Shift forward to plank. Lower, slow, chaturanga. Toes point back as you rise to your back bend. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. Inhale your right leg up and back once again. And step your foot all the way through between your palms. Spin your back heel down. We're going to rise up to warrior one, facing towards the back. And just one time, lean the chest forward and sweep your arms back alongside the body. Inhale, reach your arms and chest back up. And then bring your hands down on the inside of your right foot. You're going to walk your hands, pivot your feet towards the side of your mat, skandasana bending into your left knee towards the front of our space. Inhale, pressing the leg straight, walk your hands through center, bend into your right knee towards the back of our space. Inhale, coming up through center. Walk your hands, pivot your feet all the way towards the front. Spin your right heel down, opening up to warrior two again. Opening up through the chest, through the shoulders, grounded through the feet. <clears throat> Flip your left palm open. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And on this side, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Take your fingertips in front of your left foot. Lift your right arm, lift your right leg. Stack your shoulders and hips and flex your right foot, toes pointing towards the side wall. You can gaze down for balance. You can gaze towards the side. Maybe look up at your right thumb. And steady breaths wherever you are. See if you can get lighter on your right fingertips. Take one more inhale breath. And then as you exhale, softly land back into reverse warrior, grounding the feet down, sweeping the arms and chest back, soften the shoulders. One more inhale breath. Exhale, take your hands down to the earth. Step it back to plank. Lower slow, toes point back, rise up to your back bend. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back, downward dog. We're gonna go in that mandal salutation in the opposite way. So take your left leg up and back and shift forward, left knee to the left shoulder or tricep. Inhale, extend it back. Cross it over to the outside of your right arm. Inhale, extend it back. And come through center, knee to chest, knee to nose. Step your foot all the way through between your palms. Spin your back heel down. Warrior one, facing forward, left foot in front. And again, just align your hips to point forward, chest to point forward. Find the energy all the way up through the arms, through the fingertips, grounded through both feet. Hugging the lower belly in. 
One more inhale, maybe touching your palms overhead and gazing up. Exhale, bring your hands down on the inside of your left foot. Walk your hands, pivot your feet along the right edge of the mat, bend into your right knee, skandasana. Inhale, coming through center, bend into your left knee. And walk your hands, pivot your feet all the way towards the back of our space. Everything pointing towards the back, spin your back heel down. Open up to warrior two, so stack your right knee over the right heel. Lift your chest, open your left arm towards the front of our mat, gazing over your right fingertips. And steady breaths here. And flip your right palm open, reach it back to reverse warrior. Find this long stretch, spaciousness across the right side waist. Take one more inhale, breath. And then into your extended side angle. Take your left arm, stretch it all the way alongside the earth. And soften the shoulders away from the ears. Feel the rotation opening through the chest. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warriors for one more breath. And then take your hands all the way down to your mat. Lift your left heel up. Take your right leg up and back. Three-legged downward dog. Stack your hip open and bend your knee. And again, you're welcome to stay here. We're going for that back bend shape, shifting your shoulders forward. Roll into the outer edge of your left foot, dropping off the toes off your mat. Lift the hips, lift the heart, right fingertips reaching. And smooth breaths. And keep taking this back bend shape. Take your right arm back up to the sky, chest is open. And take your right hand down to the ground. Bring your right leg all the way up and back, through like a downward dog. Set your right foot onto your mat. Inhale, shifting forward to plank. Slowly lower chaturanga. Rise up to your inhale, back bend. And exhale, lift your hips up and back to your downward dog. So stay on the left leg. Left leg lifts up and back. And step it all the way through between your palms. And spin your right heel down. We're going to rise to warrior one, facing towards the back of our space. And just flowing with the breath. Heart forward as you exhale. Sweep your arms back alongside the body. And then inhale, reach your arms back up towards the sky. And as you exhale, land the hands down on the inside of your left foot. Walk your hands, pivot your feet around the edge of the mat. Bend into your right knee, skandasana towards the front. Inhale through center. Exhale, bend into your left knee. Inhale up through center. Walk your hands, point your toes all the way to a lunge facing forward. Spin your left heel down and then rise up to your warrior two. Flip your right palm open, reach it back to reverse warrior. And then nice and steady into your half moon balance. Right fingertips in front of the right foot, underneath the shoulder, lengthen through the side of the waist, open up through the chest, through the shoulders. And make sure your right toes stay pointing straight forward. Flex your left foot, toes are pointing energetically towards the side wall. Steady full breaths in and out. And stay with the breath. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, softly land it back, reverse warrior, planting the feet down. Inhaling to stretch your arms and chest all the way back. Relax the shoulders, soften through the face. One more inhale, breath. Exhale, hands to the earth. Plant your palms down, step it back to plank, vinyasa, or downward dog. And then as you land in your downward dog, with your head and neck relaxed between the arms, feel free to let your eyes relax close and take a full breath in. And through the mouth, let it go. Lower your knees down gently, shift your hips back towards your heels. Child's pose, let your body rest. You can let your forehead and forearms rest. You can stretch your arms back to the outsides of the legs. And take a fuller breath in and out. And use your hands to just press yourself up to seated. And then bring your block about to the middle of your mat on the lowest height. We're gonna lay down on our bellies. And you can stay on your forearms just as you start. You're gonna open your right knee out towards your right and set your knee up on top of this block. And you can adjust it higher, lower, closer, further away from the body. 
It might also feel more comfortable to use a pillow or a folded up blanket underneath the knee for a bit more cushion. And then you can rest your chest down. Options with the arms, you can open them up. You can stack your palms and create a little pillow underneath the head. And you can rest your forehead down or turn your face to one side. And just feel this gentle opening into the right hip. You can feel the pace of the breath and the pulse of the body as we built heat in our short flow, but intense flow. So notice how quickly your body may have warmed up. And see if you can get back to your breath, slow it down. And with each round of breath, just allowing your body to melt heavier down towards the earth. And you can bring your awareness to this area of the right hip and the inner groin. And breathe softness into the area that might hold some tension or tightness. Just allowing that space of the body to relax. And just knowing that as you hold this pose longer, as you breathe longer into this shape, it'll feel easier and easier. So in our yin practice, we're definitely giving yourself a stretch in the body. Sometimes slightly uncomfortable, it might be an area of tightness. And that's where we access the mindful breath to invite ease into the shape. Now notice the rate of the heartbeat and the breath. It's probably slowed down a bit. It might still be a little bit elevated. But notice how stillness creates that sense of ease. And gently deepen your breath, fuller breath in and out. And gently start to extend your right leg back. And move your block over to the other side so you can take it in front of your head or just pass it behind your body. You can come up onto the forearms if that helps you to set up your left knee out towards the left on top of the block or on top of your prop. And then rest your chest back down and if you had your face turned to one side just turn on to the other or you can rest your forehead on top of the hands and just come back into this space letting your body stretch gently and feeling heaviness down towards the earth
taking a few more breaths here. Allowing yourself to rest down. Create more space into the shape. Softening that area of the left hip, left groin. Take a fuller breath in and out. And gently you start to extend your left back, left leg back. Come back, bring both hips back down onto the ground. You can rest your forehead down. Bend your knees so your feet are pointing up and shift your the bottom half of your leg side to side, shift your feet side to side. Kind of like a windshield wiper motion with the bottom half of your leg. And then extend them straight. Lift your chest, you press your palms by your chest. And shake your hips all the way back towards your heels into a child's pose. Just pressing back into that stretch for a moment. And start to come back up to seated. Now take the legs out in front of you. Open the knees out to the side and touch the bottom of your feet together. And you want to create a diamond shape with the legs. So your feet are a bit more forward of the knees instead of right in line with the knees. You might like to use your block or your prop. As you hinge at your hips, you can place the block down on top of your feet or you can stack up a bunch of props and just fold your body down into this shape. You can use your forearms to gently press your shins and knees open towards the sides. And the prop, the block, or whatever prop you have can really help if you're tight. Just resting your forehead down onto it will bring that sense of support and calm. And even if you're super flexible, in our yin practice, you don't necessarily have to go 100% into your deepest, most flexible stretch. You want to feel the stretch also want to get into that place where you can rest into it. And feel the ease. Start to relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Create space in the back of the neck. And gently stretching the spine. And if your hips are pretty open, if you're not using your hands or arms actively, you can reach them forward and turn your palms gently to face up. A few more breaths here. And gently deepen your breath. And gently lift yourself back up to seated. You can move your block or your prop off to the side. You can use your hands to fold the knees up and just extend your legs out straight. You can shake them out a bit. And then start to make your way down onto your back for your final resting pose, Shavasana. So get nice and comfy for your final rest. As you lay down flat, you can extend your arms away from the body and softly turn the palms to face up. If it feels 
better to you to rest your hands onto the body. You can ground your hands onto the hips or the belly, or maybe one hand onto the heart, one hand onto the belly. And if you'd like to change the position of the legs, maybe bending the knees up is better for your lower back. Or you can always open the knees up to the sides with the feet touching. And just take a moment to press into the back of the head and feel your chest puff up, feel your shoulder blades lift up off the earth. Draw them down away from the ears and then set your shoulder blades back down, creating more space for the back of the neck, creating that openness and lift across the heart space. If they're not already there, let your eyes rest closed. And before our deepest rest, just taking another full breath in through the nose. And sighing it out through the mouth, letting it all go. And allowing yourself to feel the balance of the body between the yang and the yin. That higher, faster paced energy and then that slower inward energy. And experiencing the polarities of both of those types of energies to create balance in the body. Maybe noticing what felt more natural, what you felt more resistant to. And probably what you felt more resistant to towards is something that you should practice a little bit more. Not as a sense of punishment but a way to challenge the body and challenge the mind and experience growth in a different way. Allow yourself to rest fully, experience ease, softening through the face, through the shoulders, through the belly, through the hips, resting all the way down through the arms, into the fingers, and all the way down through the legs, into the toes. invite you to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like to make your practice feel full and complete. And if you're about ready to come out of your practice, deepen your breath. And take a fuller breath in and a fuller breath out and feel that the way the breath expands and reawakens the body. On your next inhale, reach your arms all the way back behind you and just find that nice long stretch from end to end. And gently start to bend your knees up, plant your feet onto the earth. Softly roll onto your favorite side for your fetal position. Take a moment, grounded towards the earth, and take another full breath in. Side out through the mouth, let it go. Taking this grounded energy with you, use your hands and arms to softly press yourself up to seat. In the most comfortable seat, rest your hands gently to the tops of the legs, invite a tall spine, bring your hands to touch in front of the heart space and find gratitude for your practice, for your strong and healthy body, and for the full spectrum of our experience. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.